What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video with your boy Thick Whips. Today we are addressing the concern that I had in the last ride along video where I was talking about the door pin was rattling all over the place and I didn't really think it was going to be something that I'd film but a lot of you guys were asking how to fix it. I found a couple of easy DIYs online but I kind of put my own like twist on it to go ahead and fix the rattle. This is a very common problem on pretty much all cars. They have the plastic door pin that pops up and it just rattles against that little plastic piece that sits on top of the door card. With how luxurious these cars are and how quiet they are on the inside, any little rattle begins to annoy the hell out of you. So the one that is rattling for me the most, we're gonna do this on all of them, but the one that's rattling for me the most is the passenger one. So all that is, is the pin hitting the plastic. So really all we have to do is this plastic piece down here that goes around the pin. It has a couple of clips on the inside, but we're just gonna take our trim tool. Be careful with the leather. You don't wanna stab it. You don't wanna scratch your tint behind it. Just be careful when you do this. Basically, we're just gonna wedge this underneath and pop it up. All right, so this trim tool ended up working out the best for me. The plastic ones were just bending a little too much. And this one overall just seemed to have a little bit more leverage to it. So this is the one I ended up using. It did take a bit of prying. It wasn't the easiest thing to get out. I just kind of worked edge by edge and it did eventually come out. You see the piece right here. Nothing broke, which is good. I think if you used like a flat head, you might risk cracking this plastic. It doesn't seem incredibly brittle, but I would still be careful when you're taking it out. So what I'm gonna end up doing here is just taking a little piece of foam. This is like adhesive foam. It kinda comes in a roll like this. My only intention is to make the pin a bit more snug with this housing. But the problem is if you only put something on the inside of here or on the actual pin itself, it's not going to work. Um, you need to put something that makes the entire channel a bit more snug. So we're gonna take this foam right here and we're gonna lay it inside. And this foam will flatten quite a bit. So it looks thick when you pull off the adhesive, but it actually flattens out quite a lot. So you can kind of see what I'm doing. And then we will cut off the excess. You just don't want it sticking out of the top, right? So that's kind of how I'm doing it. Not a problem if it sticks out of the bottom, you just don't want it sticking out of the top. I think I'm gonna lay another one on the other side just so it's really nice and snug. Kind of roll it out. So we've got two of them in there like this. Now we can go ahead and throw it in the car. All right, so you can immediately tell it's much more secure. It doesn't move nearly as much. The pin just seems to fit a lot better and um, there's not a whole lot of movement anymore in it. Still locks here. No issues. The other option that I was looking at was actually like wrapping the Tessa tape or like foam around the pin itself, but it's just kind of tough without getting the door card off to get in there and actually fill it inside of here so you don't see it. But I guess that would be one option. It just seems like this made a little more sense to um, go about it this way. With the foam in there, it just makes everything a little more tight. So there's less room for this to just kind of rock around and, and uh, create rattles. So I'm gonna attack the other side now, knock that one out. Okay, presumably the problem is fixed. We will go for a ride later and uh, make sure that that is the case. We've got one other product coming from Souvenir. This is basically a thin piece of plastic that you adhere with the 3M to the bottom of your front lip. Something like this is gonna be useful for a lot of you guys who are really low, who have carbon fiber front lips, who are worried about cracking them from the bottom. Now remember, this isn't gonna do anything for you if you hit something from the front. Majority of cracks that happen on carbon fiber front lips are from the front. However, sometimes you can be coming out of a driveway and if you scrape it enough, it'll start to crack through the top. This is basically just a plastic barrier that you're adhering to the bottom of the lip to protect the lower portion from getting scraped up and eventually cracking. This is made by Souvenir. They sent this out. I will have all of this stuff linked down below. Let's go ahead and throw it on the bottom side of this lip. As you guys know, we're about to make the trip out to 
Orlando for the BMW Invasion Show. It's gonna be a long trip, a lot of driveways, a lot of flexing the car in and out. The car is pretty low. And Souvenir was nice enough to send a bunch of this out to me, so we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna throw it on today and see how long it lasts. So you're probably gonna have to cut some of this stuff up to make it fit your uh, lip exactly, but we'll go ahead and just kind of lay it out like that cut up a corner like that, lay on another piece like that, cut it there, and just kind of work our way around the entire lip. Um, if you have it jacked up, it's probably gonna be a lot easier. So we're just gonna go ahead and jack up the car quick on each side, just work each side. That way I'm not having to lift up the entire car and it's only gonna take a couple of minutes. So one thing you do wanna do before we lay on that adhesive, grab yourself some isopropyl, clean off the bottom side of that lip so it's nice and prepped for the 3M. That was super easy. You can see what I did, just laid it out on the bottom, cut what I needed to, laid it all the way across the front lip. So it's pretty close to the edge, but you can't see it from the front. You can't see it when the car is down. And I think that that is, um, I think that's gonna do the job just fine. Just a little bit of plastic to shield the lip from the ground. Now you could make, you could get like OCD about it and make more cuts and make it like really form fit the front, but I don't know. I don't really think it's that necessary. Um, I think if you, personally, I think if you are going to crack a lip, it is gonna happen from the front. It's not gonna happen from the bottom, but I could see how scraping the bottom over and over and over again um, could create some issues with the carbon up top, but. I think for the most part, what this is intended to do, this is just fine, just like this. It is time to go for a little drive and see if our pin rattle has decided to leave us. I think it has, but let's make sure. <laughs> just back right up into a urus. <laughs> Yeah, no big deal. That'd be a bad day. That'd be a bad day. All right, man, let me let me tell you something. If this thing still rattles, throwing the whole car away. Whole car is going in the dump if this thing still rattles. So far, so good. So far, so good. I don't hear any rattles. I think we're good. I was not about to drive eight hours to Florida listening to that the whole way. <laughs> not happening. I mean, the other way to solve this right is to either just open up your exhaust valves or turn up your music. But I swear to God, even if you just do all that, sometimes your brain, you just can't like unhear it. You can't unhear those little rattles. Super annoying. Easiest fix ever, takes 10 minutes, do the whole car and you're done. No more rattles. <laughs> Even in comfort mode, dude, this thing gets up. This thing gets up. I can't wait to turn this car up, bro. I can't wait. I know I say that every video, but I'm just like highly anticipating turning this car up. Anyways, guys, that is the door pin rattle fix. I know like 98% of you need to do that. So just go out to your garage, man. Get some uh, adhesive foam and, and handle it. it. Takes 10 minutes. You can do it. Also, if you guys want to buy any of that souvenir carbon fiber lip protectant, those strips that I installed. I'll be sure to also link that down below, but that is going to end today's video. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. If you guys ever want to buy any merch or anything, I have it all linked down below. Um, it's a great way to support your boy. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you so much for watching the video. Love you all. See you in the next one. Peace.